Welcome to The Truth Factor. I'm your host, Scott Morrell. What an episode I have for you today. I have been invited to visit my first cousin's home, Spencer Tunick, world-renowned nude photographer, to interview his wife, Kristen Bowler. Let's get right at it. Donald Trump, is he a real redhead? Let me bring a fruit to your attention. It's about social commentary. What is truth? Oh, dear God. <laughs> Success. Give me three words. The truth factor. So I understand you're going to have an exhibition this February uh, with your acrylic paintings. So can you tell me a little mm -hmm. bit more about that? Yeah, Spencer and I are collaborating on a show in um, Narrowsburg, New York. I'm sure everyone knows where Narrowsburg, New York is. Probably no one does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small town in, um, I think it's Sullivan County in the Catskills. And I'm going to be working on a series of portraits of women. They are portraits of these magical creatures that come from my um, imagination and this mysterious world that I have kind of um, created in my mind where um, these creatures live. And so it's a series of maybe 15 images that I will paint and I'm almost done with the series. And then Spencer doing what he does best, which is gathering people. He has this magic ability to gather okay. hundreds, if not thousands, of naked people. Right. He's going to gather 15 to 20 women and we'll bring them here. I wanted it to be outside, but it's freezing cold. So we're going to do it inside. And in a way, I think that adds to the another level to the work because we are creating this um, this work within the domestic environment. And Spencer and I, as an artist couple, are always trying to have a, um, a life of creativity and um, inspiration. So it'll be interesting to have all these people in our world and they'll be holding images over their faces. And so they'll be nude and it'll be kind of like a, a tableau, just um, sitting on the sofa, maybe on the floor, in front of the fireplace, in front of the Christmas tree, and just creating this kind of odd, surreal moment of uh, with a painting over a face and the nude form. They just kind of represent the power and the um, creative energy of femininity and and the woman in in art. And um, yeah, they're just more symbolic, I would say. What do you want to uh, tell your audience or the people that are going mm. to be looking at these pictures uh, that it represents in life or what's meaningful to you and to a Spencer? I guess what I'm trying to say or, or with the work is um, I'm just talking about this mysterious place of inspiration and imagination. Okay. Um, and my work it just it, it unfolds. It doesn't start off with a concept as it's not as if I say, I'm going to paint this specific person right. with this meaning. It's more like the work unfolds and it brings, it comes to life in the In moment. the process yeah. that you're doing it. So yeah. I understand that you looked at this coffee mug and you think that because of the colors, uh, that could give you inspiration yeah. for your next uh, portrait. Is that true? Yes. That's Oftentimes I, I'll see a color combination and I will say, I'm going to start with this and I just pull these colors out and I put them on the board or canvas and then at that moment that's when it, it's almost like time goes away and that is where I always strive to be in that moment where I'm just in that painting and it's such a beautiful place and I wish that everybody could find that in some way shape or form it could just be cooking it could be gardening it's just the place of pure, um, I don't know what you would call it. It's almost religious. It's like source. It's not like I, like all criticism goes away and I'm just making something. Right. It's a beautiful thing. And I love that place. That's where, that's always the goal is to try to get there. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Kristen Bowler. What an artist, collaborating with my first cousin, Spencer Tunick. Until the next time, I'll see you real soon.